Alright, this is Talker Day, and I'm back with another Transformers review, and today I got Transformers R.I.D. Prowl. This is an oldie, but still a very much so goodie. It's another prize I picked up off of eBay. This is from the uh, R.I.D. line back in the year 2000, or as it was known in Japan, the Car Robots series. And as you can see, Prowl is pretty much a nice souped-up Ferrari. He's supposed to be a highway pursuit police vehicle. You got the uh, translucent headlights up here. You got some nice paint apps alongside. I love this dragon thing going on. Now, there's actually three versions of this mold. There's the original one with the uh, Japanese writing. There's another black and white where the black is more predominant. And then there's this one. I didn't even know this one existed until I saw it. So, yeah, and it's got nice translucent windows all over. It's got the painted in headlights all over. It's got painted in taillights there too. It's got trans, it's got translucent plastic for the uh, rear taillights. And the wheels are chromed and the tires are rubber. You don't see that anymore. That is just insane right there. In the back you have these big old giant thruster pods which are actually his weapons. I'm going to take those off right now. And you can go ahead and fold down his spoiler to make it a more you know, realistic look. And you flip it over and you know what? There really is no robot kibble underneath. I mean, yeah, you can kind of make out what stuff is and that's the head right there. But, you know, you just turn facing the other direction, and there you go. And heck, look at this. He even has individually molded exhaust pipes. And they're kind of poseable to a point, but not really. So, let's go and get my compression shots in here. This is um, one that came out a couple years later. This is Generations Drift. Pardon the hair. Dark. There we go. And yeah, they kind of exploded in size for a while there, didn't they? Go ahead and bring in a recent one. This is a Generations Gold Bug. And it's actually comparable in size. So yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about his weapons real quick. And then we'll get into transformation. And they're the old style friction fire. Which is actually starting to come back in. You can actually get a pretty good speed on these missiles too. And they're translucent grayish plastic. With flame painted molded detail going on. Nothing too fancy, but they do the job and they do it well. So, let's go ahead and get into the transformation. What you're going to do is come back here and open up the doors. That's funny is that I did some research on this guy and when he was first sold, one of the selling points was apparently real opening doors. Don't think that quite counts, but to enhance the illusion they actually molded the underside of the feet to look like car seats it kind of works but yeah you're going to pull the doors away you're going to lift the roof up you're going to bring up the whole front of the car and then reach in and pull the legs out you're going to twist them at the knee and then twist them again at the ankle knee ankle you don't want to bring the door panels around like this because these are going to make hip skirts and yeah this joint isn't all that stiff but it's really just for transformation, so it doesn't matter too much. Then you're going to collapse all this together so that that hinge goes through this square up here on the front. Fold the hood of the car down and fold the roof over like that. And then you're going to push that all together there. Let me adjust the camera a bit. You're going to come back here and on the driver's side pull that fender away and then this whole fender is going to come away on its own. You're going to want to straighten his arm out here and over here the trunk basically is going to disconnect from the shoulder and you're going to want to flip it on this hinge here like so. There we go. And then bring down this section here to make the chest and push that in and turn the head around. And go ahead and flip up those exhaust pipes. And he is kind of spindly and annoying to pose. But once you do get him posed, he actually is pretty damn cool. So before getting into detail on the figure himself, let's go ahead and get my size comparisons out of the way. Here is Generation's Goldbug. And yeah, Goldbug's actually noticeably taller, isn't he? 
and let's get Generations Drift in here. And again, yeah, noticeably taller. So, but ja Prowl uses his weight in a bunch of other ways because he is kind of the epitome of a shell former because there's his car, car doors, there's his rear trunk, there's his hood and roof, his shoulder panels are pretty much just kibble and car stuff. But he uses his car parts well. He organizes his kibble well, and it looks good. You can take his guns. You can peg them back on to the, uh, to the fent, to the, not the fenders, the spoiler if you want. But you're really supposed to just peg them onto the side of his arm. Yeah, and it looks pretty cool like that. He has a lot of translucent plastic also, but it's not load-bearing translucent plastic. His door panels, I like that they're painted on the inside and molded to look like car door interior. That's all translucent plastic, but not load-bearing. His chest is made of a lot of translucent plastic. Again, not load-bearing, and it looks nice. And even right here on his door is a lot of translucent plastic, but behind it is all painted in detail. So, it, it makes a nice techno vibe to it. And if you look at that head sculpt... That head sculpt just invokes speed and law enforcement, you know. Articulation-wise, he's got a swivel neck. He's got ball-jointed shoulders, so you get a lot of poses out of that if you want to. But sometimes he just looks really goofy. He's got a below-the-elbow, sw below-the-shoulder swivel, an above-the-elbow swivel, ball-jointed elbow, ball-jointed hips, ball-jointed knees, double ball-jointed ankles. So if you want to, if you're willing to finagle him around, you can get some really decent poses. Out of there you go right there. So yeah. One cool little bit I really do like though is that his exhaust pipes can become like chest mounted blasters. I do really like that. I know it probably wasn't intentional, but I like that. If you can find this guy up on eBay, I wouldn't pay more than like $15 including shipping. If you want them brand new in box, I could see him going for upwards of $30, again, including shipping. But he's a fun figure. He's great. I really don't see why they didn't re-release these guys as part of the uh, Bayverse movie line. Because they would really fit right at home with the Bayverse movie. I think he's got some loose joints. I'm going to have to tighten up with some uh, nail polish. So yeah, this has been Talk Today with a review of Transformers R.I.D. Prowl. And thanks for watching.